welcome to this year's Allianz Dublin Boat Show. Over the coming days we will see an array of small to large crafts and the latest technology and equipment available to the marine industry. What would people expect to see at this year's event? Well this is a biennial show, it's our two year outing to the public where we put on the wares of the whole of the uh, marine industry in Ireland. So it's our showcase, an important showcase. A lot of people have focused on the fact that it's a smaller show than two years ago, but having said that, it's still packed out the RDS Simmons Court, and uh, in answer to your question, you can see anything uh, that you can see afloat in Irish waters somewhere in the halls here. So it's not about sailing, it's not about motorboating, it's all those things and more. Uh, we have canoeing, we have extreme sports, uh, we have a great mix uh, to try to entertain people and give them uh, a chance to put their first toe in the water. Uh, and it's done in an environment that we hope is a safe way because we show uh, a path into, uh, into boating that uh, is safe and, uh, you know, deliberately so. Joe, why has Allianz come on board again this year for the event? Well, this event is the focal point of the Irish marine industry. So, uh, with a history spanning back over 105 years of being able to work with and, and support both the commercial and the leisure side of the industry in Ireland, it's uh, fairly much a hand in hand decision. You know, it's, it's a no brainer for ourselves as such. Um, you know, in, in, in the current climate, I think the industry needs a focal point where they can come and actually see that the that business is still strong, people are still interested. So, for ourselves to be able to be a key partner in that, it just works very well. And what have you seen as the standout feature for this year's show? The standout feature for the show this year, I think, is really the diversity of the show. Where in the past, maybe it's been an, all, an awful lot about the big motor cruisers and that type of stuff. This year, there's everything ranging from kayaks to extreme sports to things that you can see in the background just there to the impressive cruiser right at the back of the room, you know. So I think really there's something here for everybody from the expert to the budding novice um, and for people who just think or may have thought that water sports in Ireland were for the elitist. They can see here that entry level can be as simple as, you know, a couple of hundred euros for a kayak through to many, many thousands for a large cruiser. Steve, What's on offer at this year's event? Well, this year we've got our normal uh, list of exhibitors in terms of the, the boat sails, but uh, we've tried to broaden the spectrum, the, the, the whole um, focus of the show, to be more encompassing, to, um, to really try and capture uh, the other water sports, such as um, windsurfing, powerboating, wakeboarding, etc., uh, diving, and in other words, all aspects of water sports, which tend to have been overlooked in the past when we had a show which was really full of very, very large boats. Mm. So I think it would be fair to say that what we've tried to do this year and what we've achieved is to try and broaden the focus, broaden the presentation, and also to appeal to a new audience, uh, those people who have not been boating before, been boating in all its aspects, particularly aimed at young people and new entrants. With more show features than ever before showcasing the marine industry, this is the ultimate experience and it's a great family day out.